It's a screen for Romello White, a mismatch at the top of the key. Rob, three, left wing, got it. 20 points for Rob Edwards. He is feeling himself tonight in Salt Lake. So Rob, ASU is 5-0 and when you score 15 or more points. How dangerous can this team be when you get it going? I know like the facts that that we are, you know, pretty impressive when I uh, when I am scoring and clicking. So now that I know that, it's going to be pretty tough to stop us because, you know, I don't think nobody can stop any of us. But for the most part, if we all, you know, doing what we need to do on offense, then it's dangerous. So every Hooper has their favorite go-to move, and yours seems to be the Hezzy pull-up jumper. It's a game. Remy Martin, you could make a case for all conferences. Edwards continues to stay hot. How do you do it? I try to uh, first get a switch, you know, on the guy who I feel like I could take off the dribble, just in case he uh, try to stop the Hezzy pull-up, you know. But if not, if he bagging back, you know, if, or if his heels below the, the line, then I'm probably gonna pop up and do it. But uh, I'll show you. We good, we good. Clear out, man. Clear out, man. So obviously he can do it on me. Let's see you do it in game. Let's go. It seems like you're very comfortable in picking rolls. And right here, you got the pull up jumper working. And then of course, the guy goes under, you make him pay for it. And then also, you show your ability off the pick and roll to get to the cup. What are you seeing on these pick and rolls here? Oh, well, I feel like that's one of the most simple, you know, plays in basketball where you could just try to find a, a gap, you know, get an easy bucket, quick one. So if they go under, I'm shooting it. And if they go over it, I'm, if they, if they trail me, I'm gonna try to get the pull up. But if not, then I'm to the cup or, you know, create for somebody else. So you're making it look easy here. How comfortable are you out of the pick and roll? I'm super comfortable. That's, you know, like uh, my kind of go-to. Like if I can't get it off the bounce and just beat my guy, then I'm calling for the screen. And uh, probably eight, nine times out of 10, you know, something good is gonna happen. More off the pick and roll. You've got the step back J working. That's tough. And then on the next play, you have the one-legged fadeaway. And of course, we already talked about the pull-up three-point jumper. What else do you have left in your bag of tricks, man? Man, it's a really a lot left. I'm just trying to uh, show show my talents and then just help the team while doing that. You know, I know we need uh, scores, space to floor out, and uh, that's what I feel like I've been doing, you know, the last few games. Now, early in the season, some of these shots weren't falling, and now they're falling at a pretty high clip. What's been the difference? A mindset, you know, confidence, just telling myself over and over, like, I can do it and not uh, second guessing, not thinking too much, you know, just all natural instincts. So you're more known for your shot making, but you've also shown the ability to find and create for others. How much do you relish that opportunity? I just try to get everybody going, you know, just try to make everybody touch it, let everybody touch the ball, and then uh, just space out after that. But if I see somebody, you know, like in, uh, in the midst of what, what I'm trying to get done, and I see that they can do it easier, I'm dropping it off, like right there on the back door. I know what Lou gonna do with that. You know, 10 times out of 10, he going up dunking. So I know that's energy for us. And then I know that's also gonna make him go harder on defense.